at you. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. And across the ring from him, Rocky Marciano. He's 5 foot 10 inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Undefeated. There is no... Tyson... The Rock. So they stare into each... These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Both men step back for just a moment. And he just missed with that left jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. We are both covered in sweat. Imagine how exhausted these two athletes have to feel right now. Our tactics are everything. In this heat, the corner man, that one minute, that one minute is going to be everything. He's got to give you the instructions. He's got to cool you down, calm you down, patch you up, and send you out there confident. It is so hard when you're in a fight, and it's outside in that heat. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so i got to respect both of them more than happy. And he just misses with that jab. He misses with that jab. And he misses with that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Nice counter. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Mate, he's shattered. Come on, look across at him. Look at him now. What do we expect to see here in round two? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Good counter right hand again. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. <laughs> And these shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. To find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbow, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Nice counter shot. Why aren't they defending? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Rocky Marciano was supposed to be the one knocking this guy out. Oh, I heard that never by so And around 
that seemed like an eternity for me. Let's get it started in round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if he can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until the senses have come back. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Beautiful counter these two shot. heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. It's all offense, all the time. Next exchange here from both men. Changes from both men in this round. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. It's just it. And you know you're in there with a banger. You've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. That left counter was perfectly timed. Perfect counter shot. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. I promise you, all three judges... Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Catch and shoot. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. Good punch. nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the equalizer. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Some nice exchanges from both men in this rest. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. We missed with that jab. Right punch. Good counter left hand there. Neither man really defending themselves. Can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Tyson Fury just got just rocked. Got Do rocked. you believe this? This could be it. Tyson Fury and the great heavyweight champions. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Back into the fray here in round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. And he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not clear. Be sharp. No doubt that this fighter's power can change. Not 
Not many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it, night, night. I'm Todd Grisham, and there's nothing quite like a CompuBox Academy crowd, and they are vocal here tonight. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. Time for our tale of the tape. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Brawler. This head... Rocky Mar... Deontay... Not too many seats... Let go. Here we go. Should be a good one. He just misses with that big right hand. And he fails to score with that left hook. exchange here from both men not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown this is not just hype we are in for something special tonight what an arena what an atmosphere what a build-up Punch. Neither man really defending themselves. Great counter right hand there. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? Beautiful counter shot. Not gonna see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You gotta swarm on your case. You know you gotta fight. You gotta hold him. You gotta tie him up. You gotta lean on him when he come in until the referee makes you break off. But keep your hands high because that will keep punching until that referee said stop. That left counter punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Nice counter shot. You know that bell was sweet music to... There's the bell for round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. He knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him up. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. He 
Neither man really defending themselves. Through the hook, didn't land. Nice job landing that left counter punch. The Spider told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. A win is not just a win for some fighters. They need to feel the blood, the crunch. They need to get that win. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Good counter punch. Perfect counter lands. Both men step back for just a moment. A perfect counter shot. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Lands with the right counter. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That counter shot lands. He is down big time on the score. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. On to the third. After that last round, something has got to change. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. We're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Which fighter will say no moss? Got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. Rocky, Rocky Marciano covering up, one trying to buy some out. time to get out of trouble. Some nice Didn't exchanges from both men in this game. round. Got caught sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back. Steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. Nice exchange here from both men. Mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Hey, those punches add up. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. We've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drama, because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to land. Deontay Wilder rocked right now. He's in some serious trouble. And down goes Deontay. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. To make or break a fighter. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Just missed with that hook. Are we witnessing one of the all-time greats go down? Trying to fight his way back into this. And it appears they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. 
Changes from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. Marciano fighting to survive. He's never been knocked out. I don't. So he will take a knee here and get a nice reprieve from the action. Five, six, seven, eight. Men step back for just a moment. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, it was like two different. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. <laughs> When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. That punch won't score. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Right. Good right hand. There's a counter shot. Swing and a miss with that hook. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Very close round with 10 seconds to go. The game plan does not seem to be working. This is the beginning of round six. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. Good right hook. Catch and shoot. Caution is being thrown to the wind. That counter scores. He parries away that left hook. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them, skin them, go for speed. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. <laughs> Both 
Help him step back for just a moment. That left counter was perfectly timed. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Every second, every minute of this fight is it. Round seven, here we go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. with that jab. Nice counter. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not... True champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble, and that's what he's doing here. Both of these very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Round eight, and we're off again. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Good counter right hand again. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put in the guess. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. He got out of the way of that right hook. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Work the body, frustrate them, take the muscle. Are we about to witness history? The... So final 10 seconds of the round. Are we witnessing one of the all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
It happened. You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. That is going to be one of those what happened next shots. Where did it come from? How did he land? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't get knocked down. He got knocked out. I didn't mean out, out. Like I got a brand new contract yeah. Armed and dangerous and ready for combat As soon as I catch him on sight, it's contact I get the job done proper, there's no comebacks That's not fair, people hoping on the balance But either you got that magic or you haven't And we were born and blessed with all this talent As soon as we give it a task, so we're powered I'm fully prepared, fully activated and ready Focused on the target, grab a weapon, hold it steady Your name, you know the name reigns heavy Got the beast in me screaming out, let me out, okay Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time for our tale of the tape. Deontay Wilder, six foot seven inches tall with that massive 83 inch reach. He'll square off against the rock, Rocky Marciano. He's five foot 10 inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever. Deontay Wilder, he is the bronze bomber, one of the hardest punchers in heavyweight history. Rock. To fight in this venue. And he said this fight would never happen, and yet here it is, and here we go. Don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. You can really feel the buzz in the air tonight. So much hype here in this arena. We have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the headlines. Exchanges from both men in this round. The jab just got blocked. He scores with that right hand. Good left counter that lands. We'll keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers are an absolute nightmare. They will stay in your face, not give you a breather, not step back when you think, all right, let's have a breather. They want to get stuck right in. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. was almost a 10-8 round. Here we go, it's round two. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Nice exchange here from both men.
Half punch. Parries that right jab away. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You got to swarm on your case. You know you got to fight. You got to hold him. You got to tie him up. You got to lean on him when he come in until the referee makes you break off. But keep your hands high because they will keep punching till that referee said stop. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. surprised at how inaccurate these fighters have been. That punch scores. He missed with that jab. Neither man really defending themselves. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. At this point, you gotta believe he can't. The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes the night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Both men step back for just a moment. Shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. He threw the hook, didn't land. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match. Are we about to witness history? The great Rocky Marciano in serious trouble. He needs to just land one big shot, but can he do it? Didn't wait too long to get back and get engaged. He fails to score with that left hook. They have no respect for each other's punching power. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. No secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. Back. Here we go to the fourth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. They score again with the left hand. is not an option for these two. <laughs> nice 
nice exchanges from both men in this round. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with him? When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. Right punch. Both of these men showing, except you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We On to the fifth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. There's a counter shot. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. This again, you can bang too. And a counter left. He misses with that jab. a high-octane battle. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Neither man really defending themselves. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. That doesn't score. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Don't... That starts the six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. So that left lands. Left counter score. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Nice punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. And these shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. Defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all.
both of these men showing except you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one and around that seemed like he there's the bell for round seven Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you've been and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. He just misses with that jab. shots from both these fighters got to be careful though he just missed with that left jab that counter shot land there's no way this fighter can go punch for punch their resistance to these blows just isn't the same because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin it means you can still get caught so you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrows the cheekbone you've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed both men step back for just a moment despite what the judges scorecards read there are no losers in this one As bad as boxing judging can be. And there's the bell for round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. That punch lands. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you, they want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? He's going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots, but that leaves more opportunities for head shots. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Nice exchange. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here. In the There's the bell to start round nine. And they seal the deal in this round after what we saw just a minute ago. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. So 
Well, there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two. No way.